welcome back to the High Boys Podcast. It is the one and only Shepherd Tyler Young. We have the Big Dipper, Big Label Man himself, Mark Asmar. We have Freak Man, Freak Nasty, Phil Lewis. Freak Man, Freak Man, yeah, that's me! <laughs> Hold on. For the topics we're going to talk about today, don't call me Freak Man at the jump. <laughs> that's Freak okay, Man. Okay, okay, no, that's no, fair. No, that's that's fair. Freak Man, that's Pat fair. Hold on, hold on. That's oh, Pat man. Lou, that's Pat Lou, Pat Lou, Phil Lewis, and then we have the man of middle many names, Big Comfy yeah, in the yeah, house. Yeah. How are everybody doing today? The comfiest. I'm good. I'm jet lagged. My body hurts. Today's topics, boys. First things first, we got to talk about the elephant in the room. Ben Shapiro dropped a song. So. Ben Shapiro didn't him. drop a song. With Tom McDonald. He it's Ben feature. Shapiro's song. It's not. He paid for a Ben Shapiro feature. That's I don't think he paid song. for it. I think There's, he paid for it. He definitely paid for it. Ben Shapiro is not doing anything for free. how stiff that nigga was? <laughs> <laughs> That's how stiff he is all the time. No, not so, that stiff. I'm not going to lie. He saw face with, tattoos and was scared. Along so, with the Ben Shapiro we have, we got some other music that we're going to Y'all got to bury of. Vince McMahon under the jail. Yep. A part of Vince McMahon also just recapping on what happened at the Royal Rumble this past uh, this past weekend. Yep, and then oh, we're gonna I almost build got a diddled in Vegas. We're gonna build a building one, on one. top of his body and Duck. throw away the key. Mm. All right, somebody start us off. Let's roll. All right, Tom McDonald, Ben Shapiro, drop a song. It's Facts. called Facts. Of course, it's got Ben Shapiro on it. That's his whole brand. Um, you know, if you don't know who Tom McDonald is, he's a very, a very bro. He's animated. the R word. No, he's the R word. Let me let me get this off. Hold on. Yeah, Mark knows all about he, Tom McDonald. He is a very <laughs> title provoking YouTube rapper. He says a lot of things that you are politically like Troy charged. Ave. Why'd you call him a YouTube rapper? He's a YouTube rapper. He's a YouTube rapper. He's nothing outside of YouTube. He's right. He's a clip rapper. No, I don't well, know about that. No, no you could a, you could say that. He's a clip rapper. So Tom people McDonald's don't listen to his music. People watch the like the thirty second clips and go on rants. Tom McDonald's whole titles. thing is to like say buzz phrases, and to his following people. is like Andrew Tate. Yeah, buzzwords Andrew is Tate how fans. clips work. He's a clip rapper. But a clip rapper, clip rapper, a YouTube rapper are would be YouTube. early Joey Badass. That's a YouTube. Rapper. No, no, this, no, is, this guy's no, got. He was a mixtape rapper. I say Mark's, Mark's, Mark's on. Really Mark's blow up off the mixtape. Mark is like yeah. Mark's own brand. Oh, like he's you, right about he this. Was was no, he was not the first internet rapper. What? One of the first. My bad. Who? Like, like I was crazy. Say, we can't stand for a little B erasure over All here. All right, let's get let's get back on topic. We, we did on. We, we did get off topic, but that was Triumph's whole beef with him was that he was an internet rapper. Yeah. Try Bottom line, nobody, right? Tom McDonald's a YouTube rapper that has politically charged lyrics that are all right leaning, and he he got Ben Shapiro on a song, and Ben Shapiro ate him up. Mark put his album above Drake's this year. No, I didn't. That's not even an don't album. Don't put that on me. Song. Don't you know, put that on me. But, but, Tom um, has album. He dropped an album last year. Don't don't put that on. Why me. do you know that? It was called Mark Asmar. No, <laughs> no, no, no. That was a funny he's, setup. He's wannabe. He's wannabe Richmond north of Richmond. He's, That's, he's a wannabe who? Mark Asmar. Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald's been outside way longer than that nigga. You yeah, can't I know. say that. But Tom McDonald wants his persona to be as impactful as Richmond North of Richmond. That entire song. I One thing this. I will say about the Richmond versus Ri- the Richmond North of Richmond nigga is I will he say. He can sing. He's no, talented. Out. No, it's not even that. It's I he did live in Ohio. Him. I am a blue collar worker. I've worked in steel factories. I've worked in restaurants. I understand the struggle of working in the middle class. And I'm also very moderate when it comes to politics. Hold Sometimes on. I- Hold on. So Tom McDonald did drop an album last year, and you know who he has as a feature on the album? Who? Project Pat. That's disgusting. Project Pat's also a Republican. So Yeah. I, mean, I didn't know that shit. much about Project Pat. Project but like, Pat's like a super Republican. So he got money and switched up. But Yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Let's let's break down the song oh, a little bit. Richmond or North of Richmond, I kinda yeah. understand him. I understand he was talking about some real shit. This nigga Tom McDonald's a fucking dumbass. So Tom a McDonald's dumbass. Tom McDonald's lyrics aren't really made to relate to people. It's more made to piss to people wear, off. To cry. Yeah. He, his, He's got a whole his victim lyrics complex. aren't relatable to the right. They're just trigger words for the left. Yeah. That's his whole thing. Like he's not. Fu- he looks like every SoundCloud rapper ever. The in- the entire thing that, but the, that the right. I hates. feel like the thing that he does and the way that he, the way that he he looks the way props? that he looks. He does YouTube very well. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't. I'm not, I'm not gonna he say that. He knows how to get attention. Yeah. I'll say that. I would say he looks the way he looks and raps the way that he raps because he understands that typically. First off, this is not his first endeavor. 
he tried to rap. He tried to be that mainstream, I'm going to be the next Eminem type artist. No, he's literally and Colby Covington of the rap game. Yeah, he's 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 y'all are so wild. that's what he's alt right six nine. As an MMA fan, he is the Colby Covington. He did he did a little something something got a little bit of buzz, and then he really and leaned he into that into that MAGA dick sucking. Well, no, it's just he more, didn't even do it right like Colby did because I love Colby. This nigga Tom is a fucking dumbass. Well, I feel like the thing with Tom is he never <laughs> broke it in the mainstream. Again, this is what happens to most. Um, I feel like not most, but typically a lot of the time, Eminem clones. Don't even give him those props. Nah, man. Jordan Lucas ain't never did no shit like this. Jordan Lucas is a very good clone. Not like this. He, I'm not I'm racist. Was I'm not actually racist. a good song. No, because I'm not racist showed both sides. Yeah, because he's more talented. That doesn't, that doesn't mean, why, that doesn't mean the idea is not sh- the I'll same. I'll tell you how good I'm not racist is. When that came out, I remember listening to it for the first time and showing it to one of my black friends because I had just transferred high schools back to my home school where it's predominantly colored kids or yes. people of color. I can't say colored. That's like fucked, but... I'm black. Jesus Christ. Thank you for saying nigga. I just said colored. Maybe they're right. But (laughs) (laughs) but I remember the kid turning the song off 40 seconds in thinking that Joyner was the white dude. Thinking that like the white dude was rapping because he hadn't put together that it was the same person rapping yet. And I was like, no, I was like, listen to the entire verse and listen to the response. I was like, the only thing is that Joyner like low key advocated a little bit more for the black folks than he did for the white folks. Yeah, but the difference is is that Jordan Lucas that moved on. He did move on. I mean, he's Whoa, still Tom, an Eminem clone. Hold on. No, but Tom, he doesn't make the same lyrics. He Tom McDonald isn't an Eminem clone of, because he makes this music. He's an Eminem clone because of the way he raps and the fucking, the, the wannabe shock. Like, Eminem yeah. did shock so well. And there are other shock rappers that aren't Eminem clones. Early think, Tyler was not an Eminem clone, but he did that shock nah, shit really I think, good. He, I think this guy does shock... To it's his, not really his, like shock. His target, it he is shock. Not believe the shit that he said. Like, like Tom. There's McDon- no way he I believes would not everything. Put he said. Tom McDonald in like shock rap. Like no, the whole no, horrorcore shock for rap you. has no, no. been an established horror genre. Horrorcore shock rap is different than just shock rap. Hold that, on, no, that's hold just, on. Just like that's mainly Wait. what shock rap is. Like this isn't like mainly. shocking. It's. No, it, Phil, it, he says hold on a things second. to trigger the people. people. That's shock yeah, rap. the people uh, that he's it's not making horror. this music horror for. Horror is a shub, uh, subgenre. The people he's making this music rap. for I, are like Triggly Puff and like people who, who dye the their hair is, red. Who the fuck is just Triggly for a Puff? Reaction? Triggly Puff is like a social justice warrior meme. Who? I was, I've never you heard know, of that. You ever? You that's ever a real white shit. I know what Mark's talking about, and that's why this shit is already in Mark's algorithms that he's like. It's not. It's not. Mark, I just know you be on Facebook going crazy. I am not on Facebook. Mark's burner. <laughs> I challenge you to find the Your last Facebook account? post. Mark's no, Mark's I've seen Mark's burner. He didn't hide it well. His name is Ark Masmar. Yeah. <laughs> no. Just uh, like an eagle for the profile pic. Most of my Facebook <laughs> is literally Ark just Masmar reposts from my Instagram. I would say I'm not gonna lie to you. The only time I went on Facebook is which is like I was watching like a Philip DeFranco video or I was playing Mad video games or Mad games on Facebook. Mark, I have a question for you. What's up, sir? And I don't mean to bring this up because I know you say that I call you racist on this podcast too much. <laughs> yeah, but you do. I, I just want to make a call back to an earlier episode, way back in our original studio. Mm-hmm. Do you remember when you found out that you accidentally had a neo-Nazi call tag in your Instagram? <laughs> yeah, and I changed it so fast. You le- no, you left it at first. You had to change it twice. No, no, because I was like, no, you're lying. And I looked it up, and I was like, oh, my God, 889 is actually like a call tag. No, it's 88. Or 88. Yeah, 88. And then I had to change it to 81 something. What would you keep the 8 for? I don't know. What the fuck is the maybe 8 for? His, maybe, his, maybe he just loved multiples of 2 and 4. 8 is just a fucking number. That, who is you, Tyler? We're not Why getting that he... autistic here. He, he's not basing shit off multiplication tables. Well, I love multiples of three and it's five. It's just random numbers that were right next to each other on my keyboard. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. That's understandable. I'm not mad when about that. When the SS picked that, they just accidentally typed that twice, huh? No, it's just because the SS couldn't type type another letter. They just typed the same letter twice. Well, no. Mark, Lazy how does, it, how does that make you why. feel like doing that research and being like, oh, shit. Damn, my gamer tag's a dog whistle. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, no, it, it kind of sucks because it's like... You thought you were being creative? No, I wasn't. Because I was you like, was this is random enough to where it can't. It's yeah, literally it can't my name used. and like three numbers. Yeah. Who would have thought three random numbers that I made up when I was 13 was going to actually well, Mark, blow up into something? Mark, maybe it's just in your blood. Damn, you're so fucked up. What are you talking no, about? No, I'm not going to say that. 
I'm not gonna say that. I'm sorry, Mark. I was kidding. Ka- if I'm Xavier's kidding. got too much Vegas in him. If Hold on. Be- what? We're getting a little off topic yeah. here, boys. You're right. Can yeah. we wrap this back to Ben Shapiro's verse? Yeah. So oh my God. Ben Shapiro. It's act- for Ben Shapiro's brand. This is perfect for him. You'd think that you'd get far enough off the road that you never found your way back. Yeah. Kind of what I was trying to do here. So Ben Shapiro markets himself to whoever will listen and follow him. And dumb follow Daily Wire and all that. Not all Republicans are dumb, but the ones that like Ben Shapiro are. No, I, I, I think there's a lot dumb. There's a lot of like kids that I were think there's really a lot worse people you can listen to if you're a Republican. No, no, hold on, no, no, because Ben Shapiro has the early Donald Trump effect. It's not that they're into Ben Shapiro. It's that what he's doing is funny. Ben like, Shapiro in 2016. Hates- I will admit this. There's a lot of videos of me wearing Donald Trump merch because one, I just thought it was funny that this rich nigga was running for president. Everyone was like, he's not going to win, and then he won. Everybody that was our age in like 2016, I remember. I was a big Trump dude. They took a poll in my history class before that election. And it was like 98. percent And they were like, "Yeah, who do you guys think's going to win?" And everybody in my class, except like four or five of the girls, were like, "Yeah, Trump, Trump presidency, baby, fuck it, let's I roll." I have videos of me and Market. Like Fairport Mardi Gras, Mark played a game to win me a Donald Trump shirt. And then we were listening to the My Nigga Donald Trump song in the Lake Catholic parking lot while I was in my merch. Yeah. Our niggas are stupid. My parents had <laughs> my parents had Hillary Clinton toilet paper and everything. Like I mean, y'all niggas really bought in. Y'all niggas 20, were in the Twenty sixteen. That was is, a fake year. I will that forever was a great say year. 2016 no, 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 2020 has set our year. culture back twenty five years. No, at it least. didn't. To, to Mark, do you forget about summer 16? That summer 16, 2016 was the greatest year of human history. I don't think so. I, we got some, we got the best Drake. SoundCloud rap started popping off. We got early Donald Trump before he was being super racist out, outside. Like before? Out. No, okay, it was funny racism. It was like Vince no, McMahon before we it? found out he was a sex pest. Okay, but he was also grabbed by the pussy sex pest. And it was fucking, it was a meme. I was 16. I didn't care. That's true. The memes in 2016. Everything was great in 2016. I think it was just funny because Donald start, Trump. That was the first year of Spring Jake for us. Watching Donald Trump dunk on conventional politicians calling was hilarious. Co- calling another politician retarded on live camera and then winning the election? Come on, dog. Who Who is doing that? It's funny. Yeah. It's not funny. a lot. That was a quote, guys. I didn't call anyone the R word. But no, I felt like the thing, I felt like the thing with Ben, was like, Ben, like, he had some very like the way that he raps is very monotone, so I felt like that's how he is. It was the epic rap battles of history. <laughs> yes, it does. It does. It does sound like a lot like that. He dunks like this all the time, and he but um, I don't know. Don't come out your feelings. Ben Shapiro raps like Boldy James. <laughs> it's just like he had. <laughs> I'd say he had a few like he had a few very kind of funny. Yeah. He had a he had a couple of clips in there. <laughs> I feel like for the stiff, enclosed <laughs> man that he is, he did very well. I was like, yeah, that's oh, he, he got his quips in there, um, and, you know, the delivery sounds like he he forced it, and he needed a shit ton of coaching, and they shoved a hoodie on him to sell Tom McDonald merch. But, you know what? I don't think it was that bad for him. I'm gonna start wearing Tom McDonald merch. He also no, probably don't got come his, around me then. He Please also probably got that. paid. I'm gonna, wear it, I'm gonna wear it in hopes that I get jumped. How much? How much? I hope mo- they beat you. I hope how? they beat me to death. I hope they really fuck that hoodie up on me. So how much do you think Tom McDonald? How much are you poor? willing to spend? I think it's poor. I guarantee you. It depends. Ben Shapiro probably costs like Rick Ross money. You're fucking on bugging. YouTube. Go sit now. He does. Go sit now. I guarantee now. you. No, he doesn't. I guarantee you he does. You're you're. A, re- a Rick Ross feature? You're bugging. Yeah. No, you're you're. I, like, you're I wouldn't be this surprised. This feature's probably worth like a hundred thousand. I Wait, really Tyler, wouldn't Tyler, be surprised if he did this Tyler, for like the shits and giggles. Like Tyler, I, I don't think Tom it's, McDonald it's, had to pay him yeah. for this. It could be that too. Even if he didn't have to pay for him, for him I will say you can't really compare to it. You can't. Well, you can compare it, and I do agree with Mark that maybe he's worth a Rick Ross money, and it's not in his rap ability. It's that Ben Shapiro like it's his appearances. It's the cost name. Money. Yeah. It's like, how much is Ben Shapiro worth? Not how much is Ben Shapiro's raps worth. Because when you look at Rick Ross, his worth comes off of rapping, whereas Ben Shapiro's is appearance. So Ben Shapiro could have came out here and schmoopity whooped his way through this like Kanye, and it would have been funny because it was Ben Shapiro, and it would have been worth however much money he spent. They, he could have not said a single word if it was just him in the hoodie on, in the music video. Throwing up gang signs. That's what enough. Ben Shapiro was throwing up GD. That would that would have gotten screen grabbed so fast. Well, he was starting up GDK. 
That would never. be even worse. I mean, objectively, he would either never, way, hilarious. Maybe somebody could trick him, but I feel like he would just be like, I'm not throwing up signs that I don't know what he mean. Ben Shapiro is a Republican, right? It's growth and development. Ben Shapiro started up GDK because That's GD, not natural. Because, what is it, GD is, um, what you call it, they have the Star of David. Ben Shapiro is definitely GDK. What are you talking about? Ben Shapiro is he's Jewish. He's Jewish. Super Jewish. Is he? Yes. yes. Oh, so he's GD. Like, there's up. even a bar about him wearing a yarmulke in his verse. I didn't they listen re- to this verse. You make my brain hurt sometimes. I don't know shit about Ben Shapiro, Mark. I don't listen to d- Twitter politics. Have he you seen a picture a of him? He's wearing a yarmulke. He's usually always yarmulke up. Guys. Always. I don't care about Ben Shapiro. He's not That's a real fair. politician to me. He's not, his, he's he's not, not a, politician a politician at all. He's a talking, a talking head. A person who talks about politics that people listen to to get their information. He's not a real news outlet to me. He's not a real person. He's not someone I care about. That's I didn't fair. know he was Jewish. Shapiro doesn't sound like a Hebrew, like, descending last name to me. What does? <laughs> Shapiro no, doesn't sound Jewish to you? Like, How many Jewish one, people do you know? A couple, but, like... like oh, that's why. Okay, I was say like, Shapiro so sounds like an Italian Dallas, or something. Like, no, Shapiro sounds super Jewish. Jewish. It's got to be a Steen or a Berg to be Jewish to you? No, I didn't say that. I said it sounds Jewish. I could be wrong. I might not know as much about, like, Jewish culture as I think I know, but, like... Shapiro doesn't sound. I, I know a, a black dude named Shapiro from my home city. Like I d- didn't sound Jewish to me. Fair enough. Fair enough. I say it sounds. Does it? I, Shout I out. Also, have you Shout guys seen Shapiro's. Ben Shapiro's tweets on this? No. Yeah, he's been so, just talking shit about like being number one yeah. on the billboards. It's so he's. So funny. It's not even billboards. It's iTunes. Ben Shapiro puts a lot of pride in iTunes because he's old school. He's like one of those dudes that still has an iPod Classic. I want you so to know when that Ben Shapiro was rich, Mark, he probably bought all those streams himself. No. So when he... Oh, you were streaming the song? On no. iTunes? So when there. he... Every time he passed... Mark's got it downloaded. Mark every time he passed an artist on, on the top five, he would tweet at them and say some snarky, quippy, quip comment. Can we move on? We went to Nikki. Yeah. Can we move Cardi on? What? All right, what's Could, the next subject? Can, I, can I just get some, like... We'll talk about Vegas for a little bit. Is that cool? Yeah, let's roll. Yeah, I, that's I, I fine. Gonna, I want okay. to roll into some more music. But. Oh, okay. Then no, Tyler, you go ahead. Yeah, fuck your trip. My bad. Damn. Damn. That's crazy. Um, ladies and gentlemen, talking actually funny enough talking about Nikki and how he passed Nikki. I love it. I love it outside as a person that loves female rappers. It's it's, it's look. It's been a, it's been a good little day. It's not been a good little. It's, Nikki's song was ass. She Nikki. had a good bar or two. In she it, had a good bar. The song was arguably the shit she was talking about was good. She just didn't rhyme. Did You're you talking know, about the rhyme scheme of the song. Yeah, what, are you, what are you she, talking about? She's Hold on. on. She's on like a four month like like in the public coke bender. Yeah, like on no. on Instagram. Yes. No, yes. no, yes, yes, she is. No, she's oh, not. Oh, hundred percent, Tyler. Yes, no, she is. Not. She was cutting lines on IG Live. It was a big thing on TikTok. When? What do you mean when? It's been going on for four months. I just said that. She's not been on a coke bender for yes, four months. Yes, she has. Tyler. Tyler was there. Tyler. What are you? Tyler, no. Let, me, she, let me give you my expert opinion, Tyler. You niggas do not know her to sit there and say that no. No, you, but she was doing coke on IG and TikTok Live. I mean, she did tell on herself. She, yes. She legit talked about her recovery from doing drugs. And she's not in recovery. And she she's broke sobriety. Relapsed. She's on a bender. She's on potentially. a really bad relapse. Okay, first off, potentially we don't know we don't know. Okay, this. well she was It, it seems like it. She we'll was cutting that. stuff up on IG live and apparently snorting and she's acting like like someone on cocaine. Tyler, I have experience I with, with this, this drug. Okay, cool. That's nice. Um but this is also just her personality. This is legitimately no, not how like she this. acts. Not this, like this. Yes, that's a legit. This is a hundred percent how she acts. No, this, this is, is how she acted when she was on Kai's stream. This is how she acts whenever, Tyler, she, whenever Tyler, she's keep, been outside. No, no, no. Keep keep naming keep naming times recently that she acted like four months ago was Kai's stream. She was on the bender then. Four months was not Kai's stream. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Kai's it was like stream three, was three, maybe three and a half months ago. No, because her album Look came out what December. Her album came out in December. Tyler, it's February. It's January. That's, and even if it's oh February, that's only, that's not, it's early February. It's legitimately. Like, four months. That's Tyler. not four months. Tyler, that was four wrong. months ago. Tyler, you're wrong. When did her album come out? Well, he was on was Kai's stream on December 14th. December 14th. Of which last is less year. than a month ago. Yeah. That's not, that's nowhere near four. How am I wrong? Four so, months. A bender that's is within, constant. That's within four months of this supposed time a bender period. Is, the bender is a period of time. 
She's not been outside a tooth. She only went on Kai Stream to promote the album. She's you only need been to go outside to do drugs, Tyler. That's she true. okay? No, no, no. Time out. Because you're saying like, oh, we're we're seeing her. She does not. She's when I say outside, I do not mean outside like she's outside in the world. No, outside in the mean we that the general public can see her. She's not Tyler, outside like someone, that. As someone who knows unless how she's promoting something work for any drug, whether it be alcohol, cocaine, any of that. Um, benders get worse over time as your brain is deteriorating and your health is declining. So yes, now that we're in the four month the mark, way it, that is, she it was is worse. Acting, it is collapsing. The way that she was acting on her IG live, her very recent IG live, when she streamed this song and she first um first showed this song to the world, is the exact same way she was on Kai stream. The exact yeah. same way. Within the four months, Tyler, that was a month ago. She hasn't been on IG live for four months. She's been doing TikTok lives, and she has done a couple. No, she hasn't. We have a friend who is literally a barb. That doesn't mean anything. He doesn't He's, know her. He has watched her IG live. He watches her every time she goes live. That means absolutely nothing. Because right. he does not know her personally. But you also, you don't, also know don't know her personally. You also don't. Also, because this, that she's not doing lines on IG live. Legitimately, IG couldn't would not allow her. The, the meta she's would not knowledge. allow someone to sit there and do coke. On their fucking life. Oh, yeah, because you can't see her sniffing, but you can hear her, and then you can see, like, the, the process. You don't have to see the drugs. I know how fucking TikTok live bro, and Instagram live. It's bro, my job outside of drugs. here. It's she's to actually not do doing, TikTok. I she's run, not doing I drugs I run TikTok. a TikTok outside of here. That's for, nice. Uh, That's cool. I, I think there's a good she's chance, not Tyler. Doing drugs. I don't think even, there's a good even, chance. Even if you want to give her the benefit of the doubt. I don't think, think there's a good there chance. Is a, Tyler, there's a good don't chance know her that a, a, a you guys don't know her. You, I, you, you don't also know her. don't know her. So I mean, you can't sit okay, here and wait, say Tyler. that she's doing drugs Tyler, and you okay. also can't sit here and say that she's not doing Tyler, drugs. Yes, you can. Tyler, Tyler, you're telling me that an addict, you know addicts, right? If she's talked about being in recovery. Oh, she's talking about, you're telling me that an addict. So, going through, hold on, no, listen. Recovery no, from four years ago. You're not listening. You're not listening. Four years. Yes, you must not know how addiction works. A addict. Going through a really, because you're always an addict. You can be clean for 20 years. You will always be an addict. Yes. You were always addicted to that drug. Just because you're not doing it doesn't mean you're not addicted to it. An addict going through a really hard time in their life, going through a lot. You're fucking, your husband and your brother are both pedophiles, and people keep bringing it up, and you're going through a lot. You just released an album. It's, it's, didn't it's, do too hot. it's so hard to I'll believe that they relapsed. Not really. That so, yeah, people no, really didn't it's like It's not even about the album. The album did no, great. No, because making an album is stressful. We don't have to talk about the numbers. None of that matters. Just an addict going through a really hard time. It's so hard to believe that they relapsed. No, no I don't think that's... But I, with it's where she is in her life, no, she's not relapsing. Oh, but you don't know her, Tyler. You don't know that. You don't know she her. She just had, she no, that legitimately was, just no, had two kids. That was your, her, her life is not bad. Tyler! It she, sounds Tyler, Tyler, no, 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 because, Tyler, no, no, you know who else had here, two kids, no, no, Tyler? Because we're sitting here. You know who else had two kids, Tyler? Someone that I know very near and dear. And you know what it didn't do? It didn't stop their addiction. So, time out. So, legitimately, talk, because again, you're I'm talking saying, about you're talking about her, her going on I mean, this is all alleged. She legit went on Twitch. She went on Twitch on Kai Stream or Rumble. I'm not Don't saying know. she's on blow. I'm saying that it's not hard to believe. And they seem like coke rants. They don't. They, yes, they, they seem, do. Yes, they, they seem do. like Nikki Rant. No, they don't. God, She's, Tyler, explain, hold up. When, okay, explain you said what, is, it's what like, do you think a Coke Rant is? What is? What is the difference between a Nikki Rant and a Coke Rant? Coke not rant? a lot, because a lot of early, a lot of early Nikki Rants were Coke Rants, because she was an addict. She is an addict. So what? what for coke. the people that don't know, what is a Coke Rant? What is? It's very aggressive. It's very spontaneous. It's just like bullshit. Kinda You're just unhinged. A very rambling. unhinged. Like it's just mm. snappy. Just saying shit. Being really. Uppity. On edge, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. This past weekend, we have the first. We get a we get a very good song from Meg The Stallion called "Hiss," taking shots at pretty much everybody: Tory Lanez, Drake, um, Party Partisan Fat Fontaine, and especially Nicki Minaj. Later that morning, because I think the song came out like midnight Thursday, and later that morning, probably around like I want to say. 2, 3 a.m. on that Friday, we get um, Bigfoot. We get Bigfoot by Nicki Minaj taking direct shots at the one and only Meg Thee Stallion. So why, what's the beef? The beef? Um, so in the in the song, um, Megan raps, they're not mad at Megan, they're mad, they're mad at Megan's laws, which is a law pretty much about, uh, what is it? 
pretty much was created the sexual like predator registry to where like if you commit a crime you against can't a minor be within a school zone and stuff like that. Yeah. That's been one of the biggest things of the beef is that Nikki's husband can't drop his kids off at school because he's a predator. Yeah, he's a predator. Because he's, he's a sex own because of Megan's law. And it's kind of funny. It is. It is funny. It was a great bar and by so Megan. So it was. It was a good bar because she said, "Y'all not mad at Megan. Y'all mad at Megan's law." And that was fucking. And that's a fucking great bar. Shout out to Megan. Megan was very surgical. Like she took. She took her little disses. Not little disses. I mean, not, big disses. Big disses. Um, it was amazing. Like everything that she said. Um, again, a lot of this shit. Her. Um, pretty sure she had an album coming out, probably like sometime this year, probably around like June, July. We're gonna get a probably uh, amazing Meg album. I really just wish that Nikki's song wasn't dog ass, so we could get like the ether effect. I feel like I feel like one of them would have really murdered. How do the I other. say this? I feel like I this feel is like one of them already did murder the other. No, but we no. need to get a little back and forth. No, no, no. I disagree with you. I don't According think. According to Nikki, she has like five or six songs in the vault, waiting to waiting to drop. They on, better not on be dog Meg's ass. response. They better not be dog ass. So we could well, get no, a because back and Meg forth. Meg really came out. I want I want you to know. But Meg didn't I'll take the right shots. Meg, Meg, was, no, Meg was she, throwing subs. She, but the subs, you know, when you throw a jab and it still has a nigga punch drunk, those were some hard ass. Those were Mike but, Tyson jabs. But I'll say this: I feel like I feel like what I do, what I do like about Bigfoot is the simple fact that Nikki was like, "Nah, I, I'm taking the shit off." Because Nikki has you some like, really good you bars. Like the fact that she came direct, but it was a yes. dog ass song. The song was bad, but the bars were still good. There were parts decent. of the, the song bars were that were good. No, no, no. no, no, no. There was a few really good You can't say the bars shots. were good when the bars is what makes the song bad. Some of the bars, she she said some, some good shit. Some of it was terrible. She said some good shit. The, the problem is she didn't rhyme. The first whole half of the song, she didn't rhyme. I would say this. It sounds like it, sound, it sounded rushed. It sounded like she... It sounded like Hobo Johnson was beefing with Meg Thee Stallion. Who the nah? You're being disrespectful. Hold on. You're being disrespectful. Let's not bring that schlub OG up right Bobby now. John. But you, you get what I'm saying, right? That's a very different person. Mark. You understand oh, what I'm saying? Right? Yes, I know what you're of talking the not about. Not rhyming. I feel like he he rhymes. He just didn't I feel rhyme like beat. I don't know what it is. Blueface didn't rhyme on beat. I like Blueface. Time out. Hold on. Blueface has got better. He did. I, shout out Blueface. We'll, yeah, we'll stop out. talking about him. But shout out. But Blueface. um. But no. I, I think, don't think you should shout him out. How do you say this? Shout out Blueface. If you ask me. I look at this song. I look at this song as kind of like how people view Charged Up. People who ain't really like Charged Up all like that. You know what the difference between this song and Charged Up was? I knew Drake was coming to hit me, and I was a Meek fan. I was a Drake hater at this point. I heard Charged Up, and I could feel the energy. I knew that he was about to end this nigga Meek. It was like, it was like, imagine he unlocked. Ultra Instinct, and then you saw it next time on Dragon Flow Z. <laughs> I knew what he was about to do to that nigga. I you was, are a nasty I was sitting man. there waiting a week like, he's about to do him. He's about to do him so bad. Maybe that's why I hate Philly to this day, because I knew what Drake was about to do to Meek. Okay, I know Nikki out, does not have a back-to-back in the Hold on, time out. But if she drops a back-to-back type song, and she really Then I'll come on here and I'll eat my words. If, okay. if, I just wanna... if Nikki drops a back-to-back, if everyone on the pod can actually, and not just because they want to see me do this, but if she actually drops a song over an 8-5 and everyone, if we can get a community, like we'll put them all together, do the median, I will come on here and I will eat a can of cat food. A can of cat okay. food. That's crazy. Well, but the stipulation is that it has to be before Meg's response. It has to be a back-to-back. It has to be before Meg's response and it has to be a good song. So I'll shake on it with everybody bars, right here. Who, I'm shaking here. Y'all want to shake? Who do you guys think has the moral high ground on moral high ground? Fucking yeah. neither Meg. one of them. Meg is dogging her shit right now. That doesn't mean he she's said moral, moral high ground. ground. Like who, he said moral high like ground. Who do you guys well, think is actually correct? Meg. Meg I don't think either one correct. of them are correct. The only, no, I think that Meg is correct because the only thing that Meg really did that upset Nikki was she lied on her dead mom. And you know what, Nikki? That's not your mom. But you're married and brothers or siblings with two sex pests, two molesters. So, I mean, you can't womp, womp. choose your family. I said, you can't choose your No, family. but you can stop wow. fucking with them. I mean, hold on. Can we That's also her. examine some of Nikki's behavior as well? She's also a sex pest. How is she a sex pest? Um, look at the song she had with, uh, what was he, like 15-year-old Lil Twist? Where she was talking about fucking Lil Twist, even though he's 15? That she wanted to be his school teacher? Um, tweeting stuff about uh, Jaden Smith when he was a minor. Um... Was she on the Epstein list? 
Just a question. No. I, I don't know. I don't Probably know. Just a question. I think we would know at this point if she was Stuff on there. Like that. Well, she might have been. She was I'm not. Well I'm not. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. I think. That, I don't think. I'm. I don't. I think that's wrong to call her a sex pest because of who she well, associates she with. She allows the behavior in her life, so I feel like it's not wrong. Tyler, if I was friends with an, if I was, how did she allow it? If it happened, she's married to him. She's married to someone. No, no, she's married to someone with multiple counts of it, and her brother. If that happens after, if that happens before me, you're close with two sex pests. I'm not gonna lie to you, Tyler. I don't care how long ago it was before me. If you are that type of Megan's Law sex pest, I don't care how bad you've tried to change you. Have that on your jacket forever. Yeah, and the fact okay, that, that's that, cool. that is a scarlet no, that, letter. That, 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 that doesn't scarlet, that's filter that person on, out of your life. That's like, a That's put on you with you. That's you branded. cannot. I've changed. That was the old me out of pedophilia, man. I'm not. I understand maybe her brother because okay. that's her brother and you can't choose your siblings, but you could choose your spouse. There's two of them. Though. That's the and thing. That's another thing. That's oh, just one brother. Brother and husband are both sex pests? No, I'm saying Time you can choose your spouse, but you can't choose your siblings. Also, the one thing is I don't know what happened with the Wait, husband exactly Tyler, so i can't sit there and be like oh he Tyler, did one thing that i want to ask you is because you're trying to excuse nikki and i can understand I'm not, trying to excuse. not not excuse but like the whole when phil said the little twist and Jaden, i understand that but one think of it this way she is married to a known pedophile her brother is a known pedophile who she's close to and then she has bars ab- on two separate counts about Fucking underage people, and you're telling me I can't call her a sex pest? Did yes, she you cannot call her a sex pest. On a minor on you're stage. right. She did grind on a Didn't minor on stage. Didn't like she do that? So she has. She has. Like, what minor? I, like, I let and me do her, a Google. It was one of her this New York shows. I'm pretty sure. I think, it's I a legend. I was like Rihanna. But like, or Beyonce like two things too. confirmed about her doing things that are quite. Tyler, if I was on Instagram right now, talking about 15 year old Danielle Bergoli, you're excusing that. And my wife's a pedophile. You're excusing me. You're not true. calling me a sex pest. You pet. did move him up on the list for some shit he said about Daniel Bergoli. Mark, no, that, that was, was you. you. That was you, Mark. No. no. Hey, that's that. crazy. No, that's kind of crazy. Can tell you, I can tell you what it was. It was Billie Eilish, and I was 18, and she was 17. Okay, well, if you're moving people up on the list for that, then Mark, you can't excuse you Nicki Minaj. Moved him up on the list. Yeah, it I know. You. But I'm not trying to justify Nicki Nigga, Minaj. Nigga, I didn't say anything. I didn't move him, on the, move him up on the list. That wasn't me. You were also, for Billie Eilish? Yes, you were. He just said it was you. No, it was you, Mark. Thank you. So, so I you're just you. you're I just okay. People. You're just okay with with people being sex pests. Sex pests. Yeah. Wait, Tyler, are you still? Oh, if you gotta, he's an R. Kelly be your fan. Jacket. He Tyler, is an R. Kelly fan. Tyler, did you like that Diddy album? What did What did the album? The, the newest one, the R and B album. No one I, cares I about not, Diddy's music. No, that no, that, a lot of people do care about Diddy's no, music. The, Don't the, do that. The Diddy album was actually really good. Are you sure people aren't listening to it just because they're afraid of him? No, because uh, he didn't. No, no, he, he actually it. makes good music. Like, he's like, a good that producer. Was like his, that was like he's his, an actual good A&R. Like, was he, like, he like, actually does. Did he, he, did he, was he in actually his does bag. good music. He was producing. Well, no, he A&R. He puts shit together. Yeah, no, um, but like he also produced that whole album. Himself. I would just say this. Diddy is a sex pest. He's a, he, he a sex fiend. He's a sex fiend. He, he, no, he a sex fiend and he's a about sex pest are two different things. No, no, no. Xavier, wait for his butt statement. Let's hear the butt. Nothing. Wait. I wasn't going to say but. I, oh, you weren't going to say but? Well, he, well, well, a, how is Diddy a sex pest? His what trial do you mean by no sex pest? Oh. His what trial is a sex is pest? No sex yet. pest is kind of open-ended. You can There's multiple different avenues because of becoming a sex pest. They're, cause, okay, I is it saying, somebody straddling the line of breaking the law? Is yes, because they're not convicted yet. The same thing with Nikki. I don't Nikki think he hasn't been convicted of anything. I don't think She's Nikki's a, a sex pest. Don't think, I think, I I, think you're bugging. Tyler, if well, I went on Instagram right now and I said something about the the perfect example, the girl in the Ice Spice music video. If I was sitting there on Instagram like, yeah, damn, shorty, like Loki had back, would you still be friends with me? Yes, I clown you because that's just you. Why aren't you clowning Nikki right now? Trying to fuck fifteen she, year old Jaden Smith and Lil Flip. I don't Why? think she's, she's trying to Nikki? fuck. I don't think she's trying to fuck fifteen year old Jaden Smith. Also, there's been. Also, she said he was bad. I can't call a fifteen year old bad. You can't. do You're that. not allowing it. Not you saying can't. that I would, but like what I'm saying is you're not allowing. It. What is the difference, Tyler? The difference is the is context. Like what's the context? context? She called a minor bad. What more context do you need? Bad. The I don't know. Look at the entire thing. What the fuck did she say? Like what did she say? She literally was just like Jane Smith is so fine. I would eat him up. It was something along those lines. Stuff like that. She called him uh, her husband. I'm not gonna there fuck was a with few you. Tweets. I think that's 
Okay, first off, I'm not about to jump off. I'm not. I'm. Yeah, we're not jumping off the cliff because she said some. She said some cute shit like that. Yeah, cute. Yeah. She's saying she has a crush on Tyler, a 15 year old. Hold on, Mark, So I call a 15 year old my wife right now. What are you doing? Okay, you're an adult. No, no, she no. Was hold, an on. Adult. Hold, on, hold on. She let me was an adult. let me say this. Hold let me on. say this. Time out. Hold on. So he is a very. You don't know these people. She. Probably, Neither do you, Tyler. No, Nikki probably knows his dad. Knows Jaden's dad. Nikki probably yes, because no, because okay, I no, I understand that family dynamic. So saying it and like person like oh my little hubby and fucking with the family is one thing. I don't Tweeting think Will it. understands that family. Yes, dynamic. it is. No, Will okay, does understand my, that no, family. I, I, I don't think he does. No, yes, he like, does. Okay, because okay, no, first off, we're not gonna sit here and shit on shit on um the the Smiths because they have because of their no, the, I, the no, Mark. I understand the, what he's because they have a fucked up mom. They don't have a fucked up mom. They do have a fucked up. They don't. Mark. It's it's different because and it's it's mad that it's bad that the the what you call it works this way like the the way that a male to female dynamic works. But I did have like my mom's friends who like when I was a kid, oh you're such a handsome man. That's gonna be my husband one day. I understand that. But going on Twitter and saying that's like if that's my not mom's that friend, crazy. It's like if my mom's friend went on Facebook and said my husband and I was 15. That's, yeah, that's legit, legitimately weird. happened to me as a kid. Yes, yeah. it happened so to me. And psychopath. it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't anything crazy. It wasn't anything wild. It wasn't anything okay, that so we're, we're taking that Tyler, we're leaping off Tyler, of. Tyler, you're someone with, with homosexual. I, I did find the video of uh her twerking on a 13-year-old posted by a I'm going to say a reliable source. I'm going to say iHeartRadio is a reliable source on this one. Yeah. What does the little kid look like? Actually, I feel like I may know this. A little 13-year-old boy. What does what, the what kid look like? Because he looks like a little thirteen-year-old boy. Type. Okay, what does the kid look like? I don't think you like? should describe him. He, it doesn't yeah, matter actually, what he looks matter. like. It doesn't matter what he looks like. He's a little boys are boy. fucking fiends. Little boys are fiends. So what if they're fiends? That's like so that. what? There is a double standard. So We're not statutory gonna sit here. is We're not going to sit here. Okay? We're not going to sit here. Act like there's not a double standard when there is a double standard. Doesn't make it okay. It doesn't make it okay. It's still wrong. It's still the definition of against the law. We're not about to. We're not about to sit here. Act like she's a molester. She's not a molester. No, that is molesting. No, it's not. That's actually. Hold on. That is actually. It's weirdo behavior. It's weirdo behavior. Yes. It's weirdo behavior. But we're not going to. We cannot just immediately say that she's a molester. She's not a I'm with Tyler on this one. You got to at least put like you, no, a, that's a not maybe fair. or an allegedly because that's I'll put a maybe that's or an crazy. allegedly. But here, wait. So Because I've seen Beyonce and Rihanna do the exact same and type of shit. And they're weird for it. No, they're not. They're just entertainers. I, no. don't, I don't think so you should I be entertaining hump, okay. I don't think you should be I'm a bad. podcaster. No. I'm going to go dry hump a 15-year-old. You know I'm going to no, entertain. There's also a video of like. that. Clip that right now. There's also a video of like Beyonce giving a a, a kid a lap dance or something, right? Okay, yes, and it was weirdo but behavior. So Tyler, what's the difference in those? The difference is you Beyonce and Rihanna are weirdos for that, but Nikki is a weirdo and is married to a pedophile and is very close to her brother who is a pedophile. So you're so that doesn't so that makes that, that it, so you're close you friends. Can't, you're bro, close no, to no, bro, no, no, you're, you're bugging, close to two you're pedophiles. Bugging. You're, you're close, bugging. You're close to two you pedophiles, bugging. and then you're doing weirdo shit with a minor. You're bugging. So your argument. So your argument you're is bugging. a pattern of behavior. It's a pattern. You're you are you, you are, are not responsible for other niggas' actions. No, but you're uh, you're in that pattern. No, that no, she's if not. You're, if that you're famous, nigga didn't just start fucking thirteen. Years. If you're he was doing famous and have notoriety, to see you what are. he could get away with, and then it developed. He, into no, that. you're you're bugging. You're bugging I like crazy. Thirteen year olds. You're, they no, because she's a, they don't just they don't just come out the gate knocking down thirteen year olds. Thank you. They start with weirdo behavior. So Tyler. You don't think it's weird at all that she is cool with two known pedophiles and is twerking on thirteen-year-olds on stage? I, again, can we? Can we wait, wait, well, hold on. I, I'll I'll give you the, the the brother thing. As Mark made a point, you can't choose your family. You can disown your family, but that's a different Which argument. She didn't disown. Um, but can we talk? Can we talk? I pulled up the lyrics to the song she had with a uh, little twist. Uh, it's called "Old Enough." <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> he's 16. Tyler, don't say shit. Just let him get this off. The net. I'm not fine. saying anything. Lil Twist is 16 years old when the song is made. And the song's called Old Enough. Okay, the song's called Old Enough. Uh, I'm just going to pick a few select bars from her verse. She had the second verse on the song. Um, Yo, you might can get it, might can hit it, but I got to run. And when you get it, don't be telling anybody where you got it from. Tyler. <laughs> That's crazy. See, little boy, I can be your teacher. Because if you ball, then meet me behind the bleachers. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, excuse the bloopers. You like hooters? Look at these hooters. I want to ride you like the back of your scooter. Let's get real smart without a tutor. I want to ride you like the back Tyler. of your scooter is crazy. Tyler, please defend that right now. I won't even speak. 
Defend it. <laughs> yeah, defend, don't defend it. it. <laughs> yeah, you don't have hey, to. That just gave me, on, that just, hey, that just gave me screw We ta-ta, can move ta-ta, on. Ta-ta, 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 ta-ta. <laughs> yes, nigga, defend it. Speaking of sex pests, Vince McMahon. Oh, we're oh gonna, we got a oh, link into that we're too. Switching up. Speaking of sex pests, That's the real sex, pest. sex pest of the hour is Vince McMahon, former chairman of the board of WWE. Um, he got caught with some very um, heavy, heavy allegations. I don't know much about this. All I and know, it's all because he didn't pay out his NDA. I read the, the, the four panels that Phil showed me, but I'd like to do more research simply on the fact that I obviously coercion is a thing, but though, cause I, I wanted to know what she responded with to the first three panels and I couldn't see cause he's had some real grimy. I wish we shit. could see her response. The fourth one. She made it seem like she was into it. Can I I'm not blaming her. I'm not victim she... blaming. What I'm saying is coercion is really real. I wish that I could see the responses to the rest of these texts and how they started. I don't know how they started from what I saw floating around online and what, to my knowledge, got released. But I believe that she was kind of building a case for this because this has been like in court for like a minute. Yeah. Before it became more public. Well, and this was an NDA thing until... 2020 but, and then went to court. Yeah, because in 2020 was the year that in most states NDAs didn't cover explicit sexual acts because people were signing no, NDAs that's to not No, the get only around. reason why I went to court is because he only paid one of the 3 million he was supposed to pay out. No, this is true, but also NDAs that year got like in New York state and a lot of other states, I know for a fact New York state NDAs don't cover gross sexual misconduct and stuff like that anymore because people were signing NDAs to make sure that other rich people couldn't get them. For a poor person, like people like us, the commoner, it doesn't matter. They can't sue us for much. So, yes, they can sue us, and then we take them to court, and then we take money from them. But for other like rich people, oh, I did blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, Ashanti, to say your name, but I just thought of you instantly. It'd be like if I had a billion dollars and I like diddled Ashanti, that I couldn't be like, okay, I'm going to sue you, and then Jesus. you sue me for what I did. And then the money cancels out, and then nothing happens because there was an NDA. I think, because there was a there was a few text messages that showed her giving a response to these nasty, dirty Wattpad paragraphs that he was sending this poor woman. Yeah. Um, if I'm in her position, I would be building a case. So you can't give up. Or even that, he's leveraging his. his I, so like, it seems, I want to know what was happening before she like, built the case. Well. The alleged story of how that they met. Because it was his secretary, right? It wasn't his secretary. She lived in the same building as like one of his employees uh, or a building that he was staying at. And they met, and then he made a fake job title. I have a quick question. In the legal department for WWE and had her fill in as that job. I have a quick question. What is your question? Is, is, this, like, mo- is this just the same girl? Or is it multiple There's different? way there's, more. There's Probably more women, a lot more women. Case. So according to the New okay. York Times, he's paid out $41 million worth of NDA payments to women. So there's... So what, did he just he, run out of money for this last he one? He just like, didn't pay her. He yeah, he just didn't pay her the he $3 million. He didn't realize she was building a case. Yeah, he just didn't pay her the $3 million. He's an old geriatric man. He's not geriatric. Well, he's geriatric enough that he didn't want to put in the dirty work. He wanted to watch. He knew he was going to die. So but yeah, watch, anyways, watch there's have a heart attack within the next year. Like we were saying before, creeps, Vince creeps have Epstein patterns list? of behavior. Vince was not on the Epstein list. That's kind there of there were shocking. no pro wrestlers on the Epstein list. Which is surprising. Well, the one that, that is actually out. surprising because like, a lot very, of them are very famous. Oh, because allegedly the reason the Macho Man didn't get put in the Hall of Fame until after he died was because he was fucking fourteen year old Stephanie, and that was one of his like big problems with Miss Elizabeth. Like, that's, like, one of the big reasons that they were into it. Like, getting into it. I can't imagine being a sex pest. Being a sex pest. pest. I can't imagine being a grown adult and then, like, seeing a 14-year-old. I mean, like, yeah, that's... And being like, what's up? Chris Hansen's guy. Look, look, I'll put it this way. As a 14-year-old... That's crazy. As a 14-year-old, seeing, like, even the 14-year-olds who look developed... And like thinking like, oh, that looks like a grown woman. And then being a grown man and seeing developed weird. like developed children, you could tell when someone's like, oh, that girl looks older than she is. You still know that they're children. Yeah. And they still don't yeah. turn me on. That's no, that, that's like you know, you're not wilding. Kids, you're not. And bugging. I look at them. Yeah, I could tell when you and y'all said, oh man, by where I was going with it. But no, like, like literally as a child, I remember seeing these kids like, oh my god, she looks like a grown woman, and it's because I was a fucking kid. But I'm a grown man now. Even as an 18 year old kid, I could see. Because my brother's five years younger than me, I can see the girls in his grade, and I look at them and be like, "Those 
kids probably think Those that are she children. looks grown as fuck. Yeah. But I'd look at her and be like, that's a fucking child. You can tell. I can tell that that is a baby. And now his thing isn't underaged women. It's more so leveraging his position. No, some of his thing. stuff was underage. That's some. He's fighting multiple. I mean, I don't multiple cases being. Against we don't know anything from what about we that. know. From, from what, what we know, we know there, there are human trafficking cases and sex pestery. Well, the human trafficking is is the I'm pattern of the NDA. Sex pest caught on amongst this group. It's I, such a good good I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't. I think we could only talk about the one that we know for sure, and what yeah. we know for sure is the one that yeah. Phil has been showing us with these texts. The New York Times article speculated a lot of things, but we were don't very deal in baseless. speculation. Yeah, there were does baseless anyone, accusations. Does anyone know what there. this woman looks like? Just out of curiosity, because of no. And no. the only reason I ask is because of the text that he sent her when he was talking about her appearance. Can I how, read one of these texts, Tyler? When I tell you, you're going to be disgusted. I've, I've read, read them already. already. You on. read them already. Oh, you want to read it out loud? He wants to rehash. Yeah. Please read the one about the no, BBC. No, no, Phil, give me the one that I read before. Was that the BBC one? Let's see. I believe so. About the filling all holes. Yeah. That okay. was that one. <laughs> okay. Go uh, ahead, Tyler. All right, guys. Oh we got, we got, give we got it, give one. Give us some mild censorship. Mild. No. no I got you. No, you have to, you have to censor it. Mild. Hmm. Read your last picture. You need your, you need your underwear ripped off. Three black. Three big black guys and all three holes at the same time. Guys. Way up your way up your woo ha. Way up your um Arse. bunk hole. <laughs> as far as they will go, but even f- even further. And the thickest guy goes down your throat so it makes you gag and convulse as those three as those big black guys pound away. It feels like from the start you're being assaulted. Yes. But it's it oh made you it made you orgasm nonstop. I'm pretty is sure. I think is is that a medical term? Yeah, um, I don't think you is so orgasm cares. the medical term. Yes, because and just the only before that is because of that lady who like orgasms out of control on the medical show. They said orgasm on TV. And okay. just before you pass out, those big black guys. Squirt their loads of silly putty inside you. As you lay on your stomach, the silly putty is coming out of all your holes. I'll turn you over and finish off over all over you. I want to point out that this is not funny. But Tyler Tyler's reading doing it all makes this, it really funny. It's not. It's not. This subject isn't a laughing matter. No, it's not, not funny. But read the text for yourself, and then read the text as Tyler reads it. Like if you close your eyes laugh. and imagine Vince McMahon Silly saying this out loud before he sends it, I will say I'm not gonna lie to you. It is just something about rich men. They don't like screwing no more. They like directing. They want to be on their Martin Sport Scorsese. Tyler, hold they want to be. Tyler. I'm not gonna let um, you. I'm not gonna let you make it sound like Vince is doing a Spike Lee joint here. Um, he is. Listen, I'm gonna tell you exactly what Vince is. He's a cuck. He wants to watch big black cocks screw white women. Oh, she's fine. Hold on. Whoa. You she's, can't say that. You are a problem. Like, Don't say see, that. Whoa, 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 see, whoa, whoa. You're being whoa, 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 whoa. a Xavier. Context Just matters. She's a victim. Doesn't mean she's not fine. Context but, matters. There's a was, time and a place. Time and, yes. place. and if this isn't the time or the place. Yes. Y'all call me off guard. What do you, you know? asked what she looked like. I didn't expect her to look Why did you that? give it to him? Because I wanted to know what she looked like. It's Phil. Vince McMahon. But I didn't say anything Phil. about her. Phil. She's a victim. Is, is she, have you seen? She, and I wish her was. Just because someone's a victim doesn't mean they can't be attracted. Have you seen the roster of this Vince McMahon's divas? You think I, he's not going to try and find women that look exactly like the people he's look recruits? Like one of the WWE divas. She looks like a very attractive young lady that I might approach consensually in a bar. <laughs> approach consensually. That, that's a whole. That you was tried a whole to. Mouthful. You tried to dig Cause yourself cause out, but it, it didn't work. I didn't, I didn't dig myself into a hole. Saying, oh, she's fine. <laughs> dig yourself into a hole. No, it wasn't what you said. It's Bro, when you said it. It was how you said it. Listen, internet, I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> do you a favor? Internet, do me a favor. They're not going to do you a favor. You, I need you to call you Fatty McFat. I need you to share this clip and get it to that lady. And ha- see, I want her to see me call her fine. I want to know what she thinks about me calling her fine while we were reading her case. She's probably going to feel very new suit. OBP <laughs> gets sued. Um, but no. no. I'm kidding. I'm about to say no. I think I do not agree with what he says for legal reasons. Oh, you think she's ugly? 
I do not have any I don't know what she looks like. Tyler, look at her. No, I'm good. I think that. Look oh, at it. oh, okay. Look at it. I th- look at it. <laughs> you're stupid. Just look at it. Um, just, just look at this girl. Just I think it. that. I think that it's kind of. It is something about when. It, I don't know. I want to. I think calling a cook is a little much. <laughs> You I feel like on, wait, it's a casket wait, hold match. On. Also, he texted, hold on, he texted that girl and said he wants to watch three BBCs plow her and then finish on top after they're done. You're telling me that's not cuck behavior? Also, Brock Lesnar's involved in this somehow. Whoa, don't talk about big bro Brock like that. Brock did get named in the suit. He did. So he's allegedly involved. Mm-hmm. As well as other... Other superstars. I don't think superstars. Personality. But, um... Yeah, some personalities, this, uh, some like what if Paul Heyman gets this wrapped up. Funny. In this is funny. Okay, hear me Big out. Big Paul, me out. no, not Uncle Paul. This is a, not Paul. This is a comedy. This is a comedy, this is a comedy podcast. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not putting that on. This you. is a I'm comedy sorry. podcast, so I feel like I should be able to say this. Be careful. When Ty- no, I'm gonna be careful. When Tyler said Jesus. something about BBCs, and I kind of like closed my eyes and envisioned, like I, I, I let Tyler take me on a, on a little ride here. Whoa. All I could think about was Vince McMahon letting Crime Time into the hotel room. Who? Brooklyn, Brooklyn. <laughs> y'all are wild. Y'all are Come y'all on. are bad. Come on, y'all. Or y'all. No one my nigga Xavier Woods. <laughs> that, hey, that's disrespectful. That, that them niggas, you get X-rated. Them niggas, them niggas was in there talking about some new day rocks. New day why you rocks. put that? Why you put that on you, them? You you're going to hell. You're going to hell. Why here. did they put that on her? No. Man. Can we start wow. a timer? Can we start a timer? For wow. Him? We'll get a timer after the episode. No, right. no. Start it now. All right. We got to finish the episode. I would first. say this. I'll let um, my timer Talking about the WWE, though. Um, This past Sunday. Why was everybody mad at the 30th Saturday. entrant to the Rumble? Huh? The, the female Rumble? No. The male Rumble? When Sami Zayn came in at number 30, why was everybody disappointed that he's he, not great? Oh, because he's what did good. you expect? Man, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why they were mad. They the wanted 30th. the Rock. I'll tell you why. No, they, the no, Rock shouldn't fucking out. come out hear of the rumble. Out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'll tell you why. Because even if even if the Rock shouldn't have came out, they do this thing every year. The thirtieth entrance to the Rumble in the past fifteen rumbles is always, always a big name. Is always a big name. It's always a legend or someone coming from another company. And I'll tell you why. I didn't get to the men's rumble. I fell asleep. I got to maybe Archer coming in in the men's rumble. I will tell you exactly why they were mad at the women. <laughs> Did he rumble. come in in the men's rumble? Yeah, 25. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was a tag team match. I will tell you exactly why they were mad. Because they did it in the men's and the women's. They do this thing where the 30th Rumble, they count down. The 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And music doesn't hit like it does for every other number. It's a two-second delay. So in the women's Rumble, the two-second delay hit. And I saw maybe... Two to three AJ Lee signs pop up. No, we all have to be realistic. I get it. We're WWE no. fans. Let's be fucking okay, for real so right now. No. There was no chance AJ Lee was coming. No, there, back. Was a, there was a decent. There chance. was not there was a, a chance. chance. It's not that. It's the don't do that and then give me Liv Morgan. No, I disagree. I don't think Liv. I don't Liv coming back off. Injury. Liv should have came back at the twenty nine spot then. You, nah. You're telling me then who should have been thirty? You're because t- it wasn't going to be AJ. They could have brought back someone to get that pop. That's the point of the thirtieth entrant. I, I that like is the I, point of the no, no, no. I in like Modern Rumble. I like I like Liv coming in coming in at thirty. I, I think I, Liv. No, was I like cool. Liv coming in on thirty if CM Punk doesn't come back, and it's, it sucks that Liv had to suffer this consequence. But you need a name, you suffer. need the pop. If it's not, yes, because everyone was pissed that it was Liv Morgan. Everyone who doesn't really, really like, really, really follow the sport anymore. I'm about to say. I'm about to say most people that I watch love the fact it. that no, that I was Liv. I loved that Liv Morgan came back, and I, I really like that it was Liv. We got to twenty two. And I didn't hear Let's Light It Up. And I told O'Shea, yo, she's not coming. She's not coming back. And I, I stayed it off It was Instagram. 30 or bust if she came. It was. But and it, it was always going to be a it's bust. It's the point that they took that extra. It was it was more than the normal two-second delay. They literally, they panned the entire audience, bro. It got to 30. They panned the audience. They showed the ramp. No one hit. And then it was Liv Morgan. They did all this theatrical bullshit with the cameras. And it wasn't Liv Morgan's what good. fans want. That's true. But it wasn't what they want. I think fans are dumb sometimes. I would say this. Talk I think no, the WWE that's is fair, nothing but, but incentivized to play it up. Fans. The fans run it. Now with the the thing with the the Rock shouldn't have came back. Yes, but number thirty wasn't someone like 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 again. Perfect example. Liv Morgan and Sami Zayn are in the same right. They're both coming back off injury or their breaks and Zami's all that not, stuff. Sami's not coming back from shit. Zami, Sami's been around the entire time. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't been around since Drew McIntyre attacked him the week after Raw. No. No, yes. They said that on the Rumble broadcast. Sami Zayn took a break from Drew McIntyre beating the fuck out of him until what, like the Rumble. a week? It was not a week. Raw was in Cleveland maybe a month ago. Bro. 
you're bugging me because I watched that Raw. That was like that was the week that after was like Cleveland. two three weeks after that was like two three no, weeks it was not. after um the no, fucking elimination no, it chamber because I haven't watched elimination chamber was was before. November yes it was that raw happened after Cleveland because Sami Zayn was in Cleveland me and Phil were there <laughs> I, no no I understand that I'm not saying you're wrong I'm just saying like and it's not that it's a month layoff isn't that big either. Sami Zayn should have entered at maybe twenty eight. It's the you guys have watched past rumbles and they do fun shit. And I understand the women I'll give a break to because they finally have they have TNA now, so we got Naomi have, and we got the TNA women's champ. They have so enough I understand women. They did some cool shit. Hold I'm on, glad hold on. I know I understand they have enough women that they don't have to bring back Lita and Trish yeah, and all them. Yeah. But the point of the it's it's the modern rumble is so fun. Like the year we got fucking Kevin Nash entered at four. With the old Diesel theme. Or Hurricane came back. They didn't do anything. There was nothing special about this Rumble. But I There was lo- not one special thing. There was a thing. disappointing was, punk performance. It was kind of... Thank you. It was a disappointing CM Punk who we already knew returned. It was kind of lame, too. I'm not going to be honest. I'm going to be completely honest. I you think like... they blew their load too quick on CM Punk? No. 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 They, they haven't they blown it yet. They haven't really had him do, do much. Do you think they should have saved him until the Royal Rumble? No. Since no. he hasn't no. done much? It, would, no. it, it makes would have perfect been sense. The I most understand. use you can get out of CM Punk so far was I'll tell the you, pops of getting him to return. I'll tell you You're not only, getting that much out Mark, of him the actually. The only, you can do that during the Royal Rumble. No, no, Mark. The, no. Only, way, the no. only way that you would be right right now is if... If the Royal Rumble no, was in Chicago. No, no, that. But the only way that that would be right is if that pay-per-view were... If War Games wasn't in Chicago. If War Games wasn't in Chicago, then yes, you say Punk to the Rumble. War Games was such a better pay-per-view. But... I War disagree games with was, that. was really good. No, it War was, Games it was, was good, but I, was I think it was a really good... I, no, not way better. You're bugging. Way Rumble better. was good. No. Especially but the I women's match. Games. The women's match in War Games was fucking amazing. I don't think the, the women's, women's match... The women's Rumble was better than the men's. I don't think... The, I, yeah. yeah. But I'm going to say, I don't think the women's Royal Rumble match was... I think the women's Royal Rumble match was better than the women's um um war games what? match. What? what? Yes. I what? think the women's rumble Bro. Was, I think the women's rumble was way better well, than the women's. The war trash games can match. kamikaze well, off the nice. top of the fucking that's, cage? That's nice. What? But with all the with all the people and all the stars that were in that ring that night. No, I Tyler, yes. there weren't that many stars. Yes, there were. Name there were them. a lot. There in were the a lot. Royal Rumble? Name in them. Bianca, J um, Jada Cargill. Um, Jordan, Jordan, I can't name, I can't say her Our name. truth. That's okay, there's three. Keep going. Um, Naomi. Four. Um, you, fuck, what's, what's your name? I was trying to struggle at four. No, I'm not struggling at four, I just don't, I don't know He's all struggling. their names. Asuka, Bailey, Bailey winning the fucking uh-huh. thing. Becky. Okay. Becky. Is, Bailey, like, no, the, reason the, the reason I asked is because, um, all, pretty much all the stars that you named were people who put on the War Games performance. And no, they're not. actually... Yeah. No, they're not. Yeah, the eight. Jada. There was eight people. I said pretty much most of them. Jada and Naomi were the only people who weren't in the War Games performance. Uh, Jordan Clark. I can't say. Oh, three. Time. Okay, so the TNA. And girl. then no, the other, the other really you, must go, must and you go didn't bound name girl. Her in the fucking five. Yes, I set. did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Tyler, you said Oscar, Naomi. Who who wasn't in the? The War only Games. ones that were in the War Game was Oscar. Well, Asuka, Bailey, and Becky were the only ones I I named. Yeah, you named oh, six and Bianca. Tyler? And Bianca. Three. What are you? I there named like eight, eight people. The, the eight most popular women in WWE were in the War Games match, and they put on a better performance than the Rumble. They no. did. No, they didn't. Oh, way better performance. Mm-hmm. No, they didn't. I think you're getting outvoted on this one, Tyler. I, okay, like, y'all, I think, y'all can I think be wrong. The, I, be on the island, be wrong. But I'm gonna be on this island. What think- about the Royal Rumble was special to you? That those fucking those six women that you named mattered more than the eight putting putting literally putting their lives on the line in the war game match. Um, just the match. The like one Bailey. I loved how I loved how they used Bailey in this entire match and how like kind of like sneaky that she was the entire match. Oh my gosh, you know what she set was like that, that up? Just in war games. You know no, what, she wasn't. Uh, yes, yeah, she was like that. No, she wasn't. She was, she was not being sneaky. Yes, yeah, she was. No, she was not. She was I watched general. war games. She was not being I, yeah, sneaky. Yeah, we watched it together in the same living room. Yes, and she was not being sneaky. You're bugging. So again. She so is I, the leader of that clan. You no, know, she's not. You know who was Yes, she is. Sneaky. What do no, you she's mean? Not. Hold on. You know, she's the Who is the leader? Who? She's what? Of damage control? She's the leader of damage control. No, she's not. Yes, she is. She's like almost the least liked person in damage control. No, no, damage control. least liked by who? The fans? Least liked by the other members of damage control. That doesn't mean she's not the leader. Damien Priest is the leader of Judgment Day right now, and he's the least liked. 
No, yeah, I not. can't. I can't get behind. Yes, he is. No, he's no, not. He it's sucks. him and Rhea. No, he sucks. Damian Priest. Are, I can't get behind. Him and Rhea are fighting right now No, but that's a part of their story. He fucking blows. That is a, Tyler damage. The damage control story. I'll tell you why Bailey won the Rumble right now. Um, it's because that she's she the only is, one without a title. Yes, thank you. And she's okay. about to fight. She's about to fight the other member of Damage Control for her title. That's why she's the least liked, but she's the leader. She's about to put her foot down. You're explaining. She's not the leader of Damage Control. <laughs> You're not going to sit there and tell me that Asuka's not the leader of Damage Control. You're bugging. She's not. She's a tag team champ. She is the leader she's of Damage Control. All right. Uh, do we have Bailey's any closing no. remarks? Guys, go watch the fucking WE. Tyler is um, special needs. Special needs as fuck. Professional wrestling is the Amazing. most entertaining soap opera you could ever watch. Uh, yes. I highly implore you to check it out, or at least keep an open mind. Or at least, like, watch the pay-per-views with your friends or something. Yeah. Like, That's what I do. No, don't I watch don't, the pay-per-views. Like, I don't keep it's, it up. It's kind of fun. I don't keep it up week to week, but it's nice to, like, catch up and get get your little tidbits and get no, ready no, no. for the pay-per-views. You should watch Especially it. for the War Games one. Like, that was, that was fun. And the Royal Rumble, you know, fun. At the very least... Watch WrestleMania. Watch, it's funny. It's, no, it's, it's WrestleMania. Oh, Peacock like, is expensive. Don't do that to yourself. Just watch it. Re- you have just a watch friend. It weekly. You, somebody yeah, has watch a friend. an old WrestleMania or anything. Like, have some fun. You have a friend that has Peacock. And you know what? Follow us on all social medias. And um, what he said. Show Drop other like, people this podcast. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell us how stupid we are. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. just love Meg the Stallion because she's amazing. I think he's doing a lot of good things right now.